It's going to shape and fashion how you have a discussion with her about the topic of dating. Welcome to Mother Daughter Connections, the show dedicated to educating, encouraging, and equipping moms to build lasting, meaningful connections with their daughters. I'm your host and mother daughter relationship personal trainer, Dr. Michelle Deering. My heart is to be of help to you. I believe that your relationship with your mom is the foundation for your future success, personally, parentally, and professionally. Now remember, even though I'm a licensed psychologist, I'm not your shrink on this show. I am, however, here to share my opinions and those of my guests. If you have concerns about your mental health, please seek services from a mental health provider in your local area. Now join me as we pause to consider today's topic. Has your daughter stopped talking to you the way she used to? Well, that could be for any number of reasons. Maybe something was said or not said, or maybe something was done or not done. Or maybe you both just got your wires crossed. Whatever the reason, there are definite research-based principles that you can use to get your daughter talking to you again. And I've put those principles in my Get Your Daughter Talking Now online course. It's a self-paced, three-module, step-by-step program that you can use to fix the lines of communication between you and your daughter, regardless of her age. Just go to www.getyourdaughtertalkingnow.com to start rebuilding your relationship today. And if you've already purchased the program, awesome. Just make sure that you share the link with your mom friends so that they can get in on the healing. The link again is www.getyourdaughtertalkingnow.com. Now let's hop into today's episode. Well, hi there and welcome. I am always excited when we get to spend time together And if you're listening to this as you're doing errands, running the kids here or there, it's summertime now uh, as we're recording this. I'm just glad to be part of the trip with you in your motherhood journey, even in the day-to-day activities that you're doing. Last time we were together, I was talking about how we as moms can ask ourselves four questions about how we're doing as it relates to having conversations with our daughter about dating. And in doing so, you know, it got me thinking about, yeah, I'm not going to name the reality TV show. Um, I just happened to be channel surfing the other day and happened upon the show. And it's a family that has a lot of kids. And uh, one of the things as I started to cringe a little bit when the father in the reality TV show uh, for this particular family when the father was actually getting what I call peacock chested in his pride that his sons were, for lack of a better term, able to get the digits from the ladies. (laughs) I don't know about you, but when I saw it, I started to cringe and my husband was sitting next to me. Oh, bless his heart. He he just looked at me and he rolled his eyes because he saw my body language just really get a certain way where I was just like, oh my God, really? And I said to him, my concern is for those young lads out there in the dating scene, what that's going to end up being like. And I started to cringe even more because the daughters in that particular family There was no care given to them, at least in the edited version of the show. And I thought, wow, there's the peacock chested approach for the boys and the young ladies are not being attended to exactly the same way. It just made me cringe. And so I started thinking, gee, we as moms, how can we know that our daughters are even ready to date Okay. And again, this is assuming that your daughter is pre-tween, tween, teen years, and the question will come up. Or you might hear in passing that she's interested in dating, et cetera, et cetera. How do you know that your daughter's ready? Should you say yes? Should you say no when the question comes up or the topic comes up? And so I wanted to kind of just share some thoughts with you about four things that I think would be important for you as a mom to consider when you're looking at and pausing to consider the lay of the land as it relates to your daughter and her life and what's going on. So those four things, okay, we'll start off with the first one. First thing that you really need to take into account is 
what is your daughter's maturity level? Now, I'm not talking about does she look mature? I'm talking about what is her maturity level as it relates to her mental and emotional maturity. Because you have to keep in mind that if you have a pre-tween, tween daughter, she's developmentally in a cognitive state, i.e. her thinking is very concrete. And so that's something that you need to be aware of because it's going to shape and fashion how you have a discussion with her about the topic of dating and as to whether or not you say yes or no to her being able to date. Okay. When daughters are in, and just children in general, but when our daughters are in the teen years, their cognitive processes are a little bit more abstract. And so the way in which you engage with them in conversation is going to be different. So her maturity level, that's something you want to assess and keep in mind. The second thing you want to keep in mind is, and ask yourself, is what is the intensity level of your daughter around the topic of dating? Daughters can express their intensity levels in different ways, whether it's verbally or the way in which they focus or don't focus. Do they have an all or nothing kind of mentality about things or behaviorally, you know, how intense are they uh, in their behaviors? That's just something you want to keep in mind and ask yourself and take stock of. The third thing that you want to ask yourself as it relates to your daughter's readiness to date is what is her level of self-awareness regarding her motivations about being in, quote unquote, a romantic relationship or a dating relationship? Because as you engage with her in conversation, you really want to be listening for what are the things that are contributing to why now? Taking stock of your daughter's level of self-awareness and her motivations is going to actually help you determine what to say and how to say it and what to do, if anything, as it relates to saying yes or no or just entering into a conversation with her. If she's not very self-aware um, about what's propelling her to want to be dating at that point in time, then you might need to adjust how you talk to her about things. Or if she's very self-aware, that will definitely inform how you say what you say and when you say what it is that you say, okay? So assessing her level of self-awareness. And then lastly, you want to take stock of what, I guess I'm calling it like the social patterns or the social season of her life that's going on. Um, that's something that you want to really take stock of because contextually stuff's going on in her life. Does she have a lot of heavy academic stuff going on? How are things going with her BFFs or her peer group? Um, what kind of activities is she involved with? That will kind of give you a sense of, okay, does she even have time to be in a dating relationship? Or say, for instance, just for example, because I've had... Um, moms who've had daughters who are athletes and the topic of dating comes up, okay, will it take her away from her athletic goals? Or if she's in an extracurricular activity that she's really passionate about, will this sidetrack her? So those kinds of things and considerations will be things that will inform what you talk about and how you talk about the topic of dating and whether or not you actually end up saying, yes, you can, no, you can't, or this is how. <laughs> All right. So if we don't take stock of these four things, her maturity level, her intensity level, her level of self-awareness and what's going on social pattern wise, we're going to miss it and won't be able to really meet her where she is and really address the thing that's at the core of what it is that she's feeling and thinking about this topic. So just make sure you take stock of those four things, maturity level, intensity level, self-awareness social season of life that she's in. Now, if you need help with that, I'd be happy to help you. I have moms call me all the time for no guilt consults. They're short, they're helpful, and you walk away with a game plan. And then I always love hearing moms give back a report. They're like, yeah, that really worked. Or, wow, my daughter and I 
are really conversing in ways that I didn't think were possible. Uh, usually the kind of comments I get after moms have had a no guilt consult with me. So you can sign up for one. Just go to the URL bit, B-I-T dot L-Y backslash no guilt consult. That's B-I-T dot L-Y backslash no guilt consult. I'd be happy to be of help. And while you're doing that, just make sure you also go to the platform that you're listening to this podcast on, leave a five-star review, you know, just click the five stars, do a shout out. What did you get out of today's episode or any other past episode? That actually helps me know that I'm serving you in a way that's meeting you where you are, as well as it helps get the algorithm to inform other moms about this podcast. So I'd really appreciate it if you just leave a five-star review, okay? Be encouraged, okay, if your daughter is on that cusp of dating age, we'll get through this together. And remember, healthy mother-daughter relationships are possible. They just take one curative connection at a time. I'll see you next week. You've been listening to Mother Daughter Connections with me, your host and mother-daughter relationship personal trainer, Dr. Michelle Deering. Thanks so much for joining me today. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss an episode. Share this episode with a friend so they don't miss an episode. And download the resource in the show notes. Until next time, remember to pause to consider how you can connect intentionally so you can improve relationally with your daughter.